Having a high quality, satisfying life is the most productive thing you can do. And getting the right things done isn't always about getting the most things done. Hi, my name is Amr Al-Halwa and welcome to my channel. Today, I'm going to share with you my 10 top tips for healthy productivity. I want to share with you how to achieve your goals without sacrificing your health, without being burned out. This is for everyone. It's for entrepreneurs, for students, and anyone who wants to do things done without being burned out at the end of the day. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, don't forget to subscribe right here below. So let's take a look at my recommendations for healthy productivity. My number one tip is make a to-do list. It's very important to make a to-do list. Write down on a piece of paper or an app what do you want to accomplish for the day. Put like at least 10 things you want to do and keep track of those things. Many people use an app and some people just use a piece of paper. I use a piece of paper and it's feel so satisfying to cross out something I've done for the day and some people get overwhelmed by a big test they look at a big test let's say for example I want to start a YouTube channel and then they do not do it because it's so big so what what's my advice is to divide that big project into smaller projects smaller steps for example if you want to start a youtube channel you say i'm going to create a youtube account i'm going to create a logo i'm going to create a name for my channel and so forth so you divide up your project your big task into smaller tasks so you're not overwhelmed and this will help you a lot many people forget to do their tasks because they have not thrown them down so it's important to write your tasks down so you'll remember what to do for the day you will look at it in front of you what did i do and you cross it out what did i do what i'm gonna do next and you cross it out and it feels so good to do that because you feel like you've accomplished something. Even so small such as creating a name for your website, if you want to start a blog, for example, that means you are on your path to achieve your bigger goal or any goal that you want to achieve. So I recommend a to-do list either on a piece of paper or in an app. My second healthy productivity tip is do not multitask. Focus on just one task. There is an old belief that multitasking is good and it's productive, but it turns out by research, by science, that multitasking does not work. From research, when you're focusing on one task and you move to another task, it takes you approximately 25 minutes to regain your focus and to focus on that task you're working on. Something called attention residue. Attention residue means your brain is focused on the other task and it takes you 25 minutes to regain your focus on your current task so multitasking does not work so if you're working on different things different projects finish that project and after you finish it move on to the other project or another task so this is better for you not only multitasking is not good multitasking let you finish a project in a longer time so instead of finishing a project or a task in a month so if you're multitasking it may take you two months so if you have bigger projects or big projects finish that project first before you move on to the next project so you can finish it faster. It's human nature to want to do everything at once, but in reality and based on science, it will take you longer to finish that project. Instead of one year, it'll take you two years. It may take you a few weeks. So it will take you longer to finish that task you're working on. I've been a victim of this. So I want to, for example, do several things. I want to create a blog. I want to create a YouTube channel. So I'm thinking I have to work on both projects at the same time. But it turned out from my experience that if I finish one project, it will be easier. I will finish faster that project. And then I move to the other project. So multitasking is not good. If you're working on multiple tasks, finish that task first and then move on to the next task. You will finish faster and you'll be become more productive and more focused. My third productivity tip is time blocking. Time blocking is my favorite productivity tip. And when I discovered it, it changed my life, it changed my productivity, it changed my completion rate of projects and tasks. So what is time blocking? Time blocking is you set specific time on your calendar to complete a certain task. You set a certain time. 
So for example, 25 minutes to work on task. And then you take five minute breaks and then to recharge because you need to recharge your brain. And then you continue again with 25 minutes. Usually it's 25 minutes. And there is an app that help you keep track of the time called Pomodoro Timer that you can download. So Pomodoro allows you to take 25 minutes and there is an alarm after you finish the 25 minutes. And it gives you five minutes to recharge your brain. Time blocking is very effective because you are focused on one thing for a certain period of time. You're not distracted by social media, by somebody calling you, by checking email, surfing the internet. You're not gonna do that. You're focused on that task no matter what happens. Unless it's an emergency, you will not deviate from your focus or do something else until you finish the 25 minutes or a certain period of time that you put. Time blocking, not just for work related, you can do it for relationships, with your family you can do it for personal stuff you can set certain time for watching Netflix certain time for socializing with your friends or family and you can do it for anything all you have to do is set a certain time to do a certain task and you have a timer and you do not move to another task until you finish that task and until the alarm is on and then you can either take a break or you finish the task or after the break you start again with 25 minutes and you repeat 25 minutes on a certain task and five minute break to recharge and you repeat again for at least four times and then you can take longer breaks like 25 minute break or 30 minutes so time blocking is one of my favorite productivity hacks and it changed the way i do things and it made me so much productive so for tasks that normally take me like two hours or three hours would take me maybe 20 or 25 minutes my another productivity tip is do the most difficult task first thing do not postpone it we all have difficult projects blog to write a project to finish and we postpone that project day after day after day and we don't do it because it's so maybe overwhelming or maybe because we don't know how to start or maybe we don't know where to start so i suggest that you do the most difficult task first thing do not postpone it just do it and just start on it and for me the best time to start on a difficult task is in the morning when I wake up until around 10 o'clock in the morning and this is the best time for me to be more focused more productive I feel like time flies when I'm working on tasks I don't feel anything I feel like I am very involved in my project or my task so I suggest that you do the most difficult task first thing do not postpone it and find out your biological prime time this is the time when you are most focused and there is a book by chris bailey that described the biological time and you can determine when is your biological prime time when you are most focused when you are most have a lot of concentration and you're not affected by any distraction and for me it is first thing in the morning until like 10 o'clock in the morning another healthy productivity tip is taking regular breaks. We frequently hit a brick wall while working on a task or a project. Productivity is not consistent for many people. And instead, it peaks, plateaus, and requires recharging regularly. When the human body needs a break, it shows restlessness, inability to stay concentrated, yawning, and a variety of other behaviors. Breaks might range from standing up to getting a cup of water to take a brief walk outside. Our bodies and minds benefit from a momentary change in atmosphere. Another fantastic exercise to do during a break is stretching. It has been shown to lower stress levels, soothe the mind, and prevent weariness. Furthermore, stretching can aid in the repair of the harm done to the body by prolonged sitting. It enhances flexibility, improves posture, and improves blood flow. We should listen to our bodies and take multiple short breaks during the day rather than working through it. My productivity tip number six is delegation. You delegate your work to other people. Many people think that for other people to work on your, some of your tasks, it would require a lot of money, you, people cannot afford it. But a good idea is to figure out how much your hourly rate is. For example, for me, it may be $20 an hour or $25 an hour. So if I can find somebody to do my work, one of my tasks for less than that, then it would be a good deal. So in that way, I can free up my time to do other things that is more important or something that is more interesting and leave the boring stuff and the easy stuff to other 
people to do it and the best way for delegation you can use either Fiverr or Upwork so it's really convenient place to go and it can cost you around five dollars or seven dollars an hour for somebody in India or Philippines for them five dollars is a lot of money so I recommend using Fiverr or Upwork for tasks that are repetitive that can free up your time to do other important things or tasks so I, I recommend Fiverr or Upwork for delegation so delegation will help you if you can give it to somebody else who can do it for less than how much you're worth per hour my productivity tip number seven is physical activity to avoid being overly repetitious healthy people are more productive so exercise improves your health so make it a daily habit to exercise daily you don't need to spend hours at the gym to reap the benefits go for a walk around the block or perform some isometric exercises at your desk do something that gets your blood pumping and your heart beating. It will improve both your overall health, your creativity, and focus. My healthy productivity number eight is a not-to-do list. While we talked about the advantages of a to-do list, a not-to-do list can help you get more things done. The goal is to eliminate all the activities that you wish to eliminate so you become more productive. First. Take some time to think about what you could have done differently or more efficiently aren't helping you achieve your personal and professional objectives, any unproductive habits you need to break, and so on. Now, based on your self-analysis, make a to-do list and focus on incorporating those adjustments into your everyday routine. My healthy productivity number nine is be aware of your surrounding. You are the people who you associate with and where you spend your time. So if you hang out with people who eat junk food, don't care about their personal development, you should expect to follow their footsteps. Your surroundings are crucial because they have the power to influence how you perceive the world and how you interact with it. Examine the company with which you're now associated. Are they motivating you or depressing you? And finally, number 10 is doing a weekly review of the last seven days. One of the best time management skills you can build is learning how to do a weekly review. Follow these steps to get started with a weekly review. First, glance over your calendar for the previous week and the current week to see if any loose ends, meetings, or other items need to be addressed. Second, go through your email and get to all the emails. Third, go over your year's goals and establish a strategy to work on them this week. This technique will help you manage your calendar more effectively and avoid unpleasant surprises. That's all the time we have for today, folks. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't done so, subscribe to our channel and on your way out, hit the bell icon. See you guys next time.